Now let's take a look at the type mask tools. They're the second, uh, the third and the fourth options in our type dropdown. So like the horizontal and vertical uh, type tools, the horizontal and vertical type mask tools, we'll just select, uh, select the horizontal one for the moment. They create uh, text which you can configure in terms of the font and the font type and style and uh, things like that and the uh, size of your text so your font scale and alignment and character everything that you can do with the uh, the type tools you can do with the type mask tools the key difference is that the type mask tools we'll just select their Garfield layer for the moment and hide these The mask tools are designed to create a selection and that selection can then be used to create a mask uh, for your layer. So a layer mask of some kind. It's not designed to create text um, as an object. It creates a selection from the text that you define. So if I say cat, Scale that up a little. Now that I've switched back to my selection tool up here, my move tool, it's converted that into a selection, a marquee selection. So that's one great way of creating uh, sophisticated selections and if I were to go in here say and add that as a mask now clicking the mask button uh, add layer mask button on my layers pane then that masks just that content so you can see how um, you could create some very interesting effects using the horizontal type mask tool or the vertical type mask tool